Hello my dear student friends welcome to engineering graphics through CAD laboratory I am Rakesh Valasa in this video lecture I am going to explain how to draw the projections of solids one solutions in AutoCAD software I have taken this problem from engineering drawing by Endeavor textbook the given problem is draw the projections of the following solids situated in their respective positions taking a side of the base 40 mm long or the diameter of the base 50 mm long and the axis 65 mm long the question number B is a pentagonal pyramid base in the VP and an edge of the base in the HP dear students first identify the given solid that is pentagonal pyramid that means bottom base is pentagonal shape and each edge is connected to the apex point so this basis in the VP means that axis should be perpendicular to VP and he has given one more condition and edge of the base in the HP I have developed this 3d model in AutoCAD software let us see uh, you can see here this is the pentagonal pyramid this base this base is in the VP that means axis is perpendicular to VP and he has given one more condition an edge of the base is on the HP in the uh, in this position we need to draw the front view and top view uh, here its front view gives the true shape that is uh, regular pentagon and top view gives uh, when when we are seeing from top side these two surfaces are visible and bottom triangular face is invisible that should be indicated with dashed line see here this is the top view you can also see in the uh, right side right side of this figure uh, in the front view it's showing that regular pentagon with these triangular faces also visible in the front view that that should be reduced and top is this triangular face that means this top two triangular faces are visible and bottom one is invisible let us see how to draw the solution in AutoCAD software already I have drawn this solution uh, see here first draw the XY line next draw the regular pentagon as per the given position that means edges edges in the HP and uh, this is this basis in the VP so draw the regular pentagon and one of its edges parallel to XY line that edges should be on the on the HP next draw the top view when the observer seeing from top side the bottom edges the bottom triangular face is invisible so represent with dash line here uh, we need to give the notation the clockwise direction that is a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash for front view and uh, uh, top view with without prime that means a e d c and o okay now open the new drawing sheet and you can paste the given question we know the general procedure that is first we need to draw one x y line next draw the uh, which view gives the true shape first we need to draw the which view give the true shape here front view gives the true shape that is regular pentagon we know that how to draw the regular pentagon by using uh, uh, polygon p o l enter enter number of sides 5 we know the edge length that is 40 mm so take edge e enter space by first point that should be on x y so locate one point on x y and uh, turn on ortho mode and drag drag your mouse to the horizontal direction that length is 40 4 0 enter uh, when we are seeing from top front view this triangular face is also visible in the front view so you know that this this uh, this base is also visible and triangular faces this is the pentagonal pyramid each edge connected to the apex point each uh, here this uh, base uh, bond uh, bonded with uh, triangular faces so that's why 
the strangled face is also visible in the front view that should be reduced so by using uh, line command uh, first we need to give the diamond uh, notations this is the a dash a dash now copy this text co enter copy this text and paste in the remaining corner points now turn off ortho mode this is the b dash c dash and this is d dash and last one is e dash now edit the text by double click on this text this is the b dash next this is c dash next one is d dash the last one is e dash okay now uh, now join e uh, these corners to apex point by using line command l enter a dash just you can move your cursor uh, center point is highlighted that is uh, represent represent as o dash of p dash now join a dash o dash similarly o dash b dash now similarly c dash o dash d dash o dash finally e dash and o dash this apex point this axis point is o dash of that means apex point is o dash uh, base midpoint is p dash o dash of p dash okay okay this is the uh, this is regarding uh, front view let us uh, we need to draw the top view when we are seeing from top side a dash b dash a dash b dash o dash triangular face and b dash o dash c dash these two triangular faces are visible in the top view from each and every from o dash point o dash of p dash point draw the one vertical line we know the axis length that is 65 mm from x y length this length is 65 65 enter now also draw the projectors from a dash to x y a dash to x y now turn on ortho mode a dash to x y next uh, e dash point is uh, already on x y no need to draw again d dash is also on x y next draw the projector from c dash to x y now join and uh, give the names that is this name is top view point a second this name is e next this name is bottom ba bottom base midpoint that is p small p next one this is small d the last one is this is c now join a and c because this is the uh, base base surface this is appear like one straight line now join each and every point to every corner point to o dash apex point o apex point now turn off ortho mode choose line l enter join a and o similarly join e and e and o next d and o we know that this name is o small o apex point when the observer watching uh, seeing from top side this bottom edge that is uh, e o and o d e dash o dash o dash d dash this triangular face o dash e dash d dash this triangular face is invisible so we can represent with dash lines that means e o and d o now select e o and d o and uh, apply the line weight go to the properties toolbar line type uh, shortcut key is lt enter here uh, if this line type is not available now click on other 
and load the different types of lines line types uh, here uh, uh, choose ISO dash and click on OK uh, now choose ISO dash change the global scale factor I am taking 0 0.5 current object scale 0 0.5 OK now I can select uh, OE and DO go to the properties toolbar line type and choose uh, ISO dash line yes now the line type is changed from continuous to dash line uh, then next give the dimensions DLI we know the axis length that is 65 mm that is P and O O P is the axis this is 65 uh, and also need to give the dimension for uh, edge length for this pentagon base 40 mm long side of base so a dash b dash uh, for uh, for this a dash b dash we need to choose align dimension d a l enter a dash and b dash this is 40 mm okay after this we know that uh, final view should be thick compared to proje proje projection lines or projector lines so now select this pentagon and also select this land edges and select this top top view that is uh, this triangular shape and uh, this one triangular shape triangular shape and also these edges slant edges now go to the properties toolbar and choose 0 0.30 mm if line width if thickness is not showing so go to the status bar and turn on show or hide line weight now you can see here this is the final solution for the given problem here one more important point here axis line and this B dash O dash slant edges both are overlapped so uh, when observer watch seeing from top side B dash O dash slant edges also visible so now select PO and apply the line weight that is 0 0.30 yes yes this is the final solution for the given problem here A dash B dash C dash D dash E dash the final front view and ACE AC vote this triangular face is the final top view here yeah, next you know that uh, create one title block and convert this drawing file into PDF and take the printout uh, dear students I hope uh, this solution is very clear to your one thank you for watching Please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates and also share to your near and dear friends and relatives. Thank you. Thank you very much.